another video. If you're new here, my name is Suzanne. I am a stay-at-home mom to three girls, and I like to post cleaning content, uh, lifestyle, motherhood, decorating, anything that relates to that on my channel. So if any of those things appeal to you or sound interesting to you, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my YouTube family, and I thank you so, so much for all of your support. It means so much to me. Today's video is going to be a deep cleaning video. We're doing a birthday party for my husband this weekend. It's his birthday today, actually. There are some areas that I really need to deep clean, and I just thought this was a good reason to do it, or a good excuse. So today's video is going to be a deep cleaning, kind of those forgotten areas in the house, focusing on places that don't make it in the normal cleaning routine each week. Today I'm going to be focusing specifically on dusting blinds. Um, my fireplace needs to be dusted really badly and just wiped down. I'm also going to clean the baseboards, the walls, and the windows today. Not all the windows, but my front door and my back door, the glass is really bad because we have kids and dogs, so fingerprints everywhere. Uh, so I'm gonna focus on cleaning those today too. I'm also going to try to deep clean the kitchen if I can, especially the fridge and the freezer. I have a lot of food that I know can get thrown away and I wanna have some space for the weekend. So we have room in there for leftovers or sides if people bring anything. So I just wanna make sure I have some space in my fridge and get rid of all the old that I don't need anymore. If there's any other areas that I think about that I forget to mention, I will point those out during the video. I will show you my cleaning products that I use specifically for these chores but I just use them a lot in general if you have any products that you like to use for these specific tasks please leave them in the comments below because I always am interested in hearing what other people use to see if it's something that I should add to my cleaning routine too if you're a parent it can just be really hard to find time to get things done when you're juggling the kiddos so we'll see how much I can get done today I'd like to try to get most of it done today especially because I'm filming it but if I need to I can also work on some of it tomorrow as well I'm going to start off just showing you some of my cleaning products that I like to use. If I forget any, I'll show them throughout the video. I will try to link stuff down below as well in case you're interested. And then we will get right into the cleaning. All right, so these are some of my favorite cleaning products that I like to use when I'm doing my deep cleaning. I am gonna use this Swiffer duster. I forgot I need to go in and dust the blinds. So I'm going to use this just to get to the blinds. These are really nice. They do a great job of getting a good portion of the dust. I have a lot of microfiber cleaning cloths. If you don't use these already, I highly recommend them just because they do so well at trapping all the dirt and stuff inside of the little, I don't know, pockets between the fibers. I just throw these in the washing machine when I'm all done. I do have two new ones as well that I haven't even opened yet from uh, Grove Collaborative. They have such great products, so I recommend them as well. This is just a mop pad, but I use it as also for dusting because it's microfiber. This is also from Grove. It's just a glass spray bottle, and I fill it with a vinegar and water solution, and then I just add some essential oils to it, and that makes it smell better <laughs> than vinegar, so my house doesn't smell like salad dressing when I clean. But I love to use this for the walls, the windows, the baseboards, anything like that, it works really, really well. You can also use dish soap, which I might fill up another spray bottle and just put some dish soap and warm water in it and use that on the walls too because uh, that's super effective also. For the baseboards, this is a trick that I learned. You can go in after you clean them. You definitely wanna clean them first, but you can go in afterward and wipe them down with just dryer sheets. These are from the dollar store. I think I got them at Dollar Tree or something but I just got a big box of them and then I usually only take like one or two and I will just go along the baseboards and wipe afterward and it's supposed to repel the dirt and dust. I did this the last time and I can say it definitely works. So I definitely recommend trying that trick too because I had a lot of luck with that. This is Barkeeper's Friend. This is awesome if you have stainless steel. I just recently used this on our bathroom sink. It had a stain kind of around the drain and I just sprinkled it, let it sit for a minute and it cleaned it right up. It's not very expensive. I think it was only a few dollars for this. I might've gotten this at Walmart. An awesome product for just basic cleaning, everyday cleaning. I also used it for hard water stains on my glass shower door in the main bathroom and it did a great job of removing the stains. So I think this is a great product to add to your cleaning arsenal if you haven't put it in there already. It's awesome. 
And then I might try to do the stove today. If I do, I ordered these cleaning pads for the stove, uh, for ceramic stove tops online. And I think I got it on Amazon. And these work really, really well. So I might try to knock out that. If not today, then definitely the morning of before the party starts. So I just dusted these not long ago, but they could use a little TLC since everyone's coming over. So I'm gonna get these opened up, wipe them down, and clean this window too, I think. That way it is all done at the same time. Clean these windows the easiest way to do it is just with a Swiffer duster it does a really great job of getting the majority of the dust and they really don't get too dirty unless I go a long time without dusting them but as you can see it still picks up quite a bit so I'll start off just dusting the um, slats in the blinds and then I'll go in and wipe down the windowsill and clean the window just to have it all done for at least the next couple months hopefully Moving on to the front door, as you can see, we have this really beautiful glass window pane and it's gorgeous, but every time the dogs walk up to it, they get nose prints on it or my toddler will get fingerprints all over it. So as pretty as it is, it's kind of noticeable when it's not looking its best. So every now and then I like to get in here and just wipe it down. I use my vinegar and water solution that just works the best. It doesn't leave any streaks and it just makes it look sparkling. And then I go and dry it off with my microfiber cloth when it's all done. I recently painted the front door. The color is called Sweet as a Peach from Sherwin-Williams and I'm obsessed with it. I will be doing a fall front porch makeover soon, so keep an eye out for that. I don't know if anyone else's doors get as much wear and tear as ours, but we constantly just have fingerprints and dirt marks all around the doorknobs from everyone going in and out all the time. So in addition to cleaning the windows, I like to go in and wipe down the doors. I have not done this side of the door ever, and I thought I was gonna have to repaint it, but it looks like just some soap and water was all it needed to come out looking brand new. taken the before because this is amazing this is just using my vinegar mixture and it came that clean like I thought I was just gonna have to repaint it the door handle still is pretty gnarly but I couldn't get it off so I think it's just 
wear and tear, unfortunately. But the rest of the door came amazingly clean. So, should have done that a lot sooner. I thought it was just gonna take a new paint job to get it looking this nice again. All right, so this is the state of the fireplace. This is my husband's this is rattlesnake. Uh, so he lives here on the fireplace too. You can see, look how nasty that is. I'm embarrassed to show it on camera. It's so bad. And then over here, up here, could use some dusting as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all this out too. I'll do the inside of the fireplace another time. I'm just not feeling that right now, but definitely down here for sure. Could use uh, a good bit of scrubbing. towels because this is so fast and um, I don't want to have that much hair for one on my rags and also the microfiber tends to stick to the uh, stone on the fireplace. So I'm just going to go ahead and use paper towels to get the big stuff and then I will probably just go into the room or whatever and clean up any smaller areas. So. So this is definitely an improvement <laughs> over what it was. So it's still not perfect, like I said. I'll just quickly vacuum. I'm not gonna do too crazy of a job just because I've gotta clean out the inside, so there's no point in doing too, too much. I'll finish wiping down what I can and then I'll vacuum the rest of it, but this already looks way better than it did just by dusting the glass. I'm going to try to knock the rest of this out. <laughs> This is the full after. Everything is wiped down, cleaned off, dusted. <laughs> it looks so much nicer. And yeah, I'll get the rest of it. If you're wondering why I'm not vacuuming the whole floor right now, my husband works at night and he sleeps during the day. So I'm just gonna wait and do my vacuuming. As you can hear, somebody's awake and is probably needing some attention. So duty calls. Good morning, it is day two. I did not get everything done yesterday that I wanted to. I did get a good chunk of things done. I'm going to start with the baseboards because I really wanna make sure I get that done. And then the fridge and freezer is next on my list. So we will go ahead and get started and fingers crossed we can finish the rest of the stuff today. All right, so here's what I'm talking about when I say the baseboards. This is what they look like, along with just the bottom of the door 
It's because our dogs, I have a corgi and he's just right at that level. Oh, he's barking right now actually. Um, but you can see just the dog hair between him and then we have an old English sheepdog. So the shedding situation in this house is real. So I'm going to try to get as much of this done as I can. I'm gonna start with my microfiber cloth and get as much dust as I can and then go in with my vinegar um, or my dish soap spray, one of the two. They both work really well. And yeah, just try to get these as clean as possible. And then after I'm done, I will pick up with my, my dryer sheets and give everything a once over. So hopefully it will repel the dust bunnies moving forward. <laughs> previous owners went in and painted all of our baseboards. They're wood, as you can see. They went in and painted them and the paint they use peels off so fast. I even went in and touched it up recently and this is already what it looks like. So they do look better like cleanliness wise, um, but unfortunately I have to go back in and touch them up. But they are much cleaner than they were. So I'm going to continue this all over the house and we will see how it looks. clean pretty frequently and still looks like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
basically after a massive improvement. I wish I could say I would stay looking this nice. Obviously you can see where the paint comes, the dogs scratch right here. So that's what the baseboards normally look like, but I have to redo that another time, but at least they're clean. So we'll see how long they stay this way. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the air vent too. I did it the other day, but I didn't get it perfectly. So I'm just gonna open this up too and hit it with my microfiber cloth as well. That way, I know it's pretty good for the next however long. But this is where I write it. Um, so I'll just go ahead and put that I changed it today. That way I'll remember for the next time. I went ahead and knocked out the baseboards. That took a while, but I'm really glad I got it done. Next on my list is to do the refrigerator and the freezer. So I'm going to make some lunch around here and just take care of the things that need to get taken care of daily wise. And then I will get started on my next chore. Before I move on, I forgot I really wanted to clean the carpets and uh, then vacuum them. So I'm just going to knock that out really quick and then I'll move on to the next thing that needs to get done. this part of the video the Ringo Tango I don't know does anybody else have a dog who likes to dance with them while they're vacuuming if so let me know in the comments down below This runner at the entryway always gets so much dirt tracked onto it, so every time I wash the carpet in the living room, I always try to make sure I get this one too. This is the after of the carpet cleaning. I just think it always looks so nice once that's done. And I'm just gonna let it dry now and then I'll go back in and vacuum it once it's had some time to dry out. All right, we're in the home stretch of our Forgotten Places deep cleaning marathon, whatever you wanna call it. I've done everything else and I actually have got to tackle the fridge and the freezer now because we're gonna go pick up the food from my husband's party tomorrow. We're having it catered, um, but we have to go get it tonight and then we just cook it tomorrow. So I need to make room in the fridge anyways. So now's as good as time as any. I'm gonna film this, but I do apologize in advance. It is very difficult for me to film cleaning out the fridge because it's very tight. So I'm gonna do the best that I can. I apologize if it's not the greatest view or angles, but I will try. <laughs> Thank you. 
but this is the before so it's really not too bad but some stuff definitely needs to get thrown away and I have a lot of things in these two bottom drawers that I know have probably gone bad and I just need to get rid of so I'm gonna take everything out like I've been doing one shelf at a time wipe it down yes, yes, me too. and Lucy too and then we're gonna put it all back in go through stuff that needs to get tossed yes, and hopefully have lots of room yes, when we're done too much to go through definitely a lot more in the bottom drawers needed clearing out but everything else looked okay looks pretty good now here's the after of the freezer sorry it got hard to film it because it's so tight um so this is what it looks like I've got all my chicken and fries and that type of thing on the shelf got some breakfast stuff and then just miscellaneous up on that shelf and this first drawer is all my veggies. I have like sweet treats right here. And then in the bottom drawer is some pancakes and then just some frozen ground beef like on the very, very bottom. So definitely much better than it was. I didn't even know what was in here. A lot of it was able to get tossed. And then I could put some stuff in the freezer outside. We have a big freezer out on the back porch. So I put some big slabs of frozen meat out there. So this is what I'm left with. And I'm quite pleased, much more manageable now. That's gonna do it for my deep cleaning video. I'm so thankful that I was able to get everything done, but I am so exhausted. <laughs> so 
I'm going to go put my feet up for a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. And if you like more lifestyle, motherhood, cleaning content, anything related to that, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of new subscribers, so thank you all so much to everyone who's new. I really appreciate it. And to all of my subscribers, thank you for your support. It means so much to me. I will be having another video coming out soon, some more of my fall videos and another cleaning video as well. So please look out for those coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.